You might be one of those people who can't afford a great camera to get their bokeh background. Here in this video, we'll be faking depth of field in Photoshop. Open up your photo in Photoshop. I'm using this stock photo I believe is from Pixels or Pixabay. I'll drop the link to this photo in the description so you can follow along. Before we begin, let me explain some things to you so you can understand how this is going to work. We can add a blur to a background the normal way by duplicating original layer add blur to it and a layer mask and brush out our object from the background. That is an easy and quick way but you will see these smudgy edges. That is because we are also blurring out the object with the background which is giving us these smudgy black edges around our object. So what do we do? We are going to put our object layer on a separate layer and remove the object completely from the background which is going to be below our object layer. Am I mind you? Let me show you. You can follow along if you want. First of all, unlock the main layer and hit Ctrl J to duplicate the layer. We'll call this layer object and background layer background, obviously. Make object layer active and make selection of your object whatever way you want it. Use pen tool or quick selection tool, it's your choice. I'll use this quick selection tool for the sake of this tutorial. Did you notice that I've been calling it object but it should be subject? Never mind. We'll call it object anyway. After you have made the selection of your object, click the layer mask icon to only create a layer mask. Since our selection is active, when you click the layer mask icon, the selected area will be visible and the rest will be invisible. If you turn off the layer below it, you can see there is nothing below it. If you want, you can change the background, but we're not going to do that right now. Hover your mask over the layer mask. Hold down Ctrl key and click on the thumbnail of the layer mask. This will make selection of the visible area. Now make the background layer visible and simply hit delete key on your keyboard to delete the selected area from the background. Hit Ctrl D to deselect. Now we add blur to our background. Make sure background layer is selected, go to filter, blur, lens blur. Mess around with the velos until you get the effect you want. I'm not going to spend more time explaining this, it's pretty straightforward. Hit OK and done. You will see white spaces around our object. That is because those pixels were empty. The blur effect was not applied to it. Fixing this is super easy. Select the smudge tool, increase its size and push it inside your subject. We could have done this from the beginning but that won't get rid of the edges. Means we'd have been left with a non-realistic blur. And that's it. Here is your depth of field. I might not have done this the best job in the world on this one because I'm not making this. I'm just showing you how it's done. Here's one I made that I spent a little time on. I did precise selection, shadowing and all and uh, I'm pretty happy with this one.